Welcome back, welcome back. We're here with another episode of Pokemon Iron Minus Lock. Pokemon Iron Minus Lock. Pokemon Ultra Moon Iron Minus Lock. I was sorry, I feel like that was too short. I knew that was too short. I was missing something. Um, we I did a tiny bit of grinding in between episodes because I wanted to get a little bit of experience on Darmanitan. Um, got him to level 13. I think I should be good for this battle at that level. Um, but I guess we'll not know for sure until we do it. So, first we got to battle uh, Team Skull. Is that what it is? Team Skull? Team Skull, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Skull. Uh, one of my favorite teams in Pokemon. They just, I think they're hilarious. Uh, we got to fight these guys, and then we got to fight uh, Alima. So, hopefully it won't be too difficult. Hopefully we'll be, like, you know, on par and we won't have to fight no moody Dialgas again. Absolutely insane. Oh, Metapod. Cool. That should be that should be tough. That should be a tough one to fight. It was kind of nice because uh, the grass that I was grinding in right before I started up had uh, Alolan Sand Slashes in it. So there were four times weak to fire, which was awesome. Made it a lot easier. Magnitude. Hmm. Lowering accuracy with Mud Slap is kind of clutch, but Astonish. How strong is Astonish? It's only base 30. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. No fair. I was playing a different game. Let's get out this poor B. Nobody has to know about this. I like how the Grunt A and Grunt B, they call them that. It's funny. It is funny. All right. Now this dude's going to show up. Heal my team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get it on. Hopefully this battle doesn't go miserably. Oh, boy. I really do still wish that... I mean, you do battle, like, the kahunas. Like, you don't do gyms, but you battle the totem and the trials and all that stuff. And then you battle the kahunas. So it's kind of like a... You know. Ooh, this is a... I don't know if we're incinerate. I think he does have counter. Oh god, and he had a salad berry. It was a low sweep. It's really annoying. Oh my gosh, you are bulky. Oh my god. Fighting types are an issue for me. Something I am well aware of. Too much bull punch does. Bide. That's unfortunate. <sighs> okay. I'm going to take that hit. So I'm going to howl. Um, a plus one bullet punch isn't going to kill from this range. So I just got to take the hit and howl again. Take the hit. Oof. That's a lot. That is a lot of damage. Um... I'm not gonna potion. Oh, I just clicked. Oh, and he crits me. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. All right, I was gonna not potion, but now I kind of have to. If I potion right there, I'd have been chilling. Ah, eh, that crit didn't kind of negated it. Oh, sweep. It's fine. It'll slow me down. I have priority, so I don't really care. I'm gonna potion up and hope he clicks by one of these turns. Double kick, all right, that's fine. We're gonna knock him out. Root punch. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm plus three. I accidentally clicked Howl one of those times, so like, I would have been done with that guy earlier, but I misclicked. That's my bad. I'm gonna go to level 14. I'm gonna learn Headbutt. Yes, please. Give it a tackle. Yes, please. Golem. Mm. Oh, Leafage is physical. I think that's why I realized how little damage he was doing. All right, I'm going to stay in. I got him. Oh, it's this Golem. Oh, I missed him. Didn't even think about this being a possibility. 
Alright, we're gonna bullet punch because we're plus three. Okay. Charge, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I wasn't even thinking about a Lolan Golem. If I was, I would have went into my uh Doug Trio, but Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, Vullaby. I mean, I'm thinking I'm. I think I stay in and just get rid of this guy's team. I think I just stay in. I got the boost. No reason not to. I'm not going to be doing this too often. Hopefully, where I'm just going to try setting up and sweeping with him. But I will take. I'll take the opportunities when they arise. Um, baby doll eyes, lowest attack. Get rid of Leer. Brutal swing's pretty nice. Muck. Muck's not going to really do anything to me. I should have still went into my Doug Trio. Should have still went into my Doug Trio. It's just a, it's super effective against this. Like I just I want to use it. I want to get it on the screen. Oh, Jabokaberry. That's not good. All this plus special attack. It's doing nothing for me. Doing absolutely nothing for me. Growth, good. Need a Reno. All right. Now I'm going to Macchiato. Talk on the Discord right now. Mm. Now, click Magnitude. Get a seven. It's GG, you are clapped out of here. I am. Speed and power. You know, it's a very good Pokemon for that sense, but no. I want to stay in. I'm going to mud slap this thing. Oh my god. I want to mud slap. I don't know what your moveset's going to be. I'm just going to hope I can lower your accuracy. Oh god, what is that? You have white herb. Of course you have white herb. Confusion. Not doing much damage. Come the mud slap. I need to lower your accuracy and I hope that's going to help me long term. Confusion. It's all you clicking. Okay, let's click let's click uh let's click magnitude. Seven, that's a good one. Oh my god, I forgot all about these necrosmas. Another seven? Nine. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Emerge victorious. I have indeed, haven't I? I'm just the most victorious Pokemon trainer there ever was. You bid you Alola. Okay. Scoot, scoot. Let me go run over here. There's a uh, TM in here. Like I said, I did this game. Uh, I was doing the Purgatory on stream. And soft boiled. I'm not a huge fan of healing items in battle. When you do it like a. You know, a single player playthrough. That like, you know, a special challenge that requires you not to heal in battle and whatnot. I feel like I add enough craziness to these runs for them to be difficult enough as I as it is. So that's why I never, you know, added those extra difficulty things of like no healing in battle and whatever else. Cause I'm like, yeah, I'm already adding plenty of difficulty modifiers to this one as I play it self-inflicted ones are just based on the rules of how I do it and the way I play you know the way I play is also you know usually more reckless to increase the chances of me losing <laughs> for the content for the content Ooh, soft sand oh, really, good. really good for my boy Doug Trio where you at where you at where you at I am oh the Rosen sense yes I want to give that to you Quick Claw, give it to you because why not? All right, now let's go heal up and we can go to the next route and get a new Pokemon, which is a very good, very good. Wait, that's another area, but you can't get any encounters over there. I know there's more of these. Oh, there's another item over there. Oh, I missed that one. 
Um, oh, I can't believe I missed this item. Destiny Knot. I think there's another sticker over there, but like, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep that totem Pokemon as like a last resort for like if I'm really down bad and I need, I like need an encounter. So I'm sure by the time I'm in that type of situation, <sighs> I'll have more than enough stickers to collect the totem Pokemon. I just don't want to do it if it's going to be just like they're going to give you one of the normal totems you should be getting, you know? Yeah, no. Also, um, videos have been doing really good for these. I mean, I'm glad you guys seem to really be enjoying the Ultra Moon. Um, at 120 likes on Facebook, not quite the 250. And the YouTube, YouTube's been doing good, but like not as good like in the first day or two, but it's been what I've been enjoying about the YouTube. So like I said, I'm proud about i mean we actually had 200 views in the first day for this pretty good actually pretty good not gonna lie um only 37 likes though so. just making sure i'm not doing a double episode today uh but the youtube it's been like you know playthroughs are getting viewed weeks and weeks later when months go by and like playthroughs are still getting some views so it's like a good it's good i'm glad people are going back there and you know catching up on old playthroughs that they haven't seen that, that weren't on facebook and whatnot it's pretty exciting pretty exciting all right route two new encounter give it to me a deer <sighs> all right um, I can't touch you with this. Let's go, Wally. Let's go, Wally. And let's get a new name. I'm gonna click Fury Cutter once. Growl. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll click it twice. <laughs> this is gonna do no damage. Oh, no, it's actually still good damage. Second one might kill. Let's go for Razor Leaf. There we go. There we go. And let's look for some names. Um. Go Ducky. Let's name Deerling Ducky. I am. Ciao, Anthony. Thank you for the nickname. Deerling. I don't mind Deerling. Um. Terrible. It's normal type. So it's another fighting weakness. <laughs> Grass normal. Uh. Let me see what ability you got. Sand attack with static. Tackle camouflage growl. Minus special attack plus speed. That's actually pretty good. That's a really good major, actually. Alright. Um I'm going to I'm gonna lead with another Pokemon. Swap you out for Wally. And let's go up this route. Because we actually have an extra encounter. Someone pointed out there's a the sea cave I can get an encounter in, which I forgot about. I thought that was gonna be my last one before the uh oh that's not good um i thought that was gonna be the last one before the thing started uh the totem but sea cave i forgot about it so we could swap someone out on the team it's definitely gonna be between stuff full fomantis and Deerlink, depending what i get because i mean stuff and Deerlink. I mean, I'm probably going to keep Stuffle unless I get a better fighting type. Probably the only way I'll swap him out. Uh, chances are, if I get something of a different typing at all, I'm probably going to replace Fomantis. Over dealing. I mean, fighting weaknesses, though. Oh, wait, wait this encounter, too. The cemetery. I forgot about the cemetery. Man, I forget how many encounters there are in this game. I really want to get them, though. I really need to. I need to get some options and some variety. A Sligoo. I am all for it baby i'm all for it yes please Ugh. i don't have my coffee yet i apologize Ugh. Ugh. oh boy 
protect, but it failed. Oh yeah, who do you think you are? Oh my god, do you have like heat proof? Like I know you're you resist and everything, but like that is a lot of resist right there. There we go, that's better. I mean my special attack is just horrendous, I guess, but could have a uh, could potentially have multi scale too. All right, to you two for the next na uh, next name, because. Because <laughs> we're having a good time, having, come on, click on things. Do, 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 do. What do I name this? Agility? No one needs agility. Slig goo, what do I name a slig goo? Um, oh, Benny didn't leave nicknames on this one. I was going to do one of the ER names, like Glitter. I'll name it Glitter, because that was one of the ones I know he did. I'm going to name it Glitter. I was like, I was going to do one of those names, because <laughs> he puts all these names that end in ER, so that you can say, Glitter, I hardly even know her, and just crack that joke constantly, so it, it was too good of an opportunity to pass up. And with that, I'm sorry, Wally, you're going to get replaced. I'm sorry. It just, Deerling gets Leech Seed and just makes you so much better. Alright. Sligu. Wait, do I not have a Sligu card art? What? Are you serious? Wow. You know what it is? I probably always used it on Radical Red. That must be what it is. And when I do Radical Red, I don't always use card arts. <laughs> That's crazy. Because, I, like I said, I don't do this under these generations a ton. Alright. We'll take it. Let's see what its ability is. I feel like it's got a multi-scale. The way it did, like, one damage. And I'm, like, ten levels above it. Hypercutter. Alright, just neutral nature. A little absorb. Good moveset. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to go heal it up. I'm going to go heal it up. It's got a little bit of time. I'll heal it up and I can do... Hmm, do I want to save that next encounter? Because this team right here is not too bad. This team's not that bad. It's like, it was a nice bulky Pokemon. I don't have a fighting resist. Fighting types terrify me. Because they're just... They're just... They're breakers. They come in. They don't usually take a lot of hits. They're usually pretty... Frail, but when they hit, they do damage. So it's kind of terrifying to not have like a really, really bulky fighting resist. Or just a fighting resist in general. It's terrifying to me. So kind of tempted to let's battle this trainer first. Um I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save the encounter for the next episode. So you guys can leave nicknames again. Just leave one nickname. Because we're only gonna get one encounter in the next episode. Actually. We might get the we might get the totem one if we finish the episode fast enough. So leave two nicknames. Only two nicknames. Two very specific great nicknames. And I'll play the next episode until we complete the totem and get the encounter after it's done. That we can get both. Mm -mm. What I should do. I'm say I should make a list of like ooh, double kick. Let's get rid of camouflage. Um, it would be smart to make a list of like people who I take nicknames from. That way. Nah, I don't want to do that. Let's say like that way I try to pick from different people every time, but like I, I do, you know, make a conscious attempt to not pick from the same people every single time. So, you know, I'm just going to keep trying to do it honestly, you know, if, but the thing is sometimes someone puts a nickname down and it's such a good nickname and it fits perfectly. And I might've already used one of the nicknames, but you know what? I gave a good nickname and it fit the Pokemon I caught. So 
And I don't want people to think like, oh, I, I got one nickname. Not going to get a level the entire playthrough. So I'm just going to stop leaving nicknames. Because you know what? Sometimes we run out of people to get them from. Sometimes, like I said, you just put a really good nickname down. And that's all I wanted. And I just realized. I was sitting here and I was like, why is this like game always nighttime like my game shouldn't be set for nighttime and i'm forgotten playing ultra moon and the time is reversed when you play this game which is a fun little fact so during the day it's nighttime during the night it's daytime With ultra moon and ultra sun it's the opposite obviously ultra sun's just normal swagger no thank you no thank you Let's see what else we could have gotten in this grass Oh my god, a four times fighting resist? Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Mega Gardevoir. That's fun. That would have been fun. Ethan's. Ethan's. Um, I kind of want to take the experience share off now. I think I'm good. I think I'm good for levels. So I think I could, because I don't want to be too overleveled. Oh, I did download the file, but the issue is that is I don't want to go through the file to like find out what levels the things are, because then I'll know what the Pokemon are that I'm going to be fighting. And that's not fun. Grassy Surge. Oh, that's incredible. Because you're going to boost my Absorb. Yeah, baby. Yeah that damage scratch get out of here get out of here grassy surge man i was even thinking about pokemon they're gonna have like random terrains that's gonna get fun that'll get fun <laughs> mm -mm -mm. donkey level 11 do, 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 do. Alright. Ooh, soft boiled hyper voice. Hmm. Experience share off. Let's shut that off. I'm gonna have to just I wanna I like switch training. Honestly, switch training is kinda like just makes me feel like I'm playing Pokemon the right way. I just really like it. Also, we did a super late stream last night. We were doing a Darkest Dungeon. It's a fun game we've been playing lately. Very fun game. Uh, Quilladin. Let's go Rengoku. Uh, but it's a cool little dungeon game. It's for free on the Xbox Game Pass. And the second one is coming out soon. Darkest Dungeon 2. I think it's in May? I think it was like May 4th or something like that. That's pretty cool. Excited for it. I'll be streaming today on Twitch. Wow, you took nothing from me. Wow, I'm really underestimating how like weak my special attack is. Um, but we plan on streaming on Twitch today around noon. HGV breezy baby, and we will be starting with Pokemon Soul Silver and probably switching over to Darkest Dungeon or Tarkov today. I don't know. I haven't played Tarkov in a little while. I've been having a lot of fun with it lately. So, maybe some Tarkov, maybe some Darkest Dungeon. It'll be a longer stream. It'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. All right, so we're over here. Grab this item. Paralyze heal. Battle this dude just because... I don't even know how this guy would ever, like, actually see you. I feel like I have to manually talk to him to fight him. Or else I just would never fight him. Ooh, wish Rotom. Rotom Wash. Ooh, baby. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna go to Macchiato. Uproar. Perfect. Resist. You have double. You have freaking parental bond. The mega abilities, man. Parental bond. Oh my god. I the combinations. I'm telling you, we're doing these newer games with the random abilities. The combinations are endless. It is so insane. 
So insane. Mm -mm -mm. The Mantine riding. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Mantine riding thing's so boring to me. It's like it's so easy. Like it's so easy. All right. You guys talk to me about that and then. <sighs> do I save this encounter? I'll do this battle with these Team Skull dudes and then I'll do the encounter in the next episode. I'll do it in the next episode. There's an item over there too. Over that little hill I just walked up on. Uh, uh. <sighs> <sighs> Woo, boy. I'm going to run over here and beat you guys up. And get smacked up with my purple shirt on, baby. Purple shirt. If I can get orange, orange is my favorite. Y'all be rocking that ASAP. Escavalier. Oh boy. Can't really do much to you, bud. But know who can? Rengoku, baby. Rengoku. Quick guard did not work. I did not want to click roll out. That's a problem. That's actually a huge problem. That's a huge problem. Mm. Luckily, I'm doing a lot of damage. All right, we're good. That could have went terribly. That could have went terribly. Luckily, I landed. Bide? No. I'll back up in. Get smacked up. Do I gotta fight the both guys this time? Nope. Alright. Alright. Cool, cool. What do you give me? Freshwater. Very nice. Use that for the uh, totem battle. Use that indeed. Alright, let me run over here. There's an item. Sacred Ash. Not good for me. Sacred Ash revives like fainted Pokemon. Which is cool and all, but not when you don't need it. Because <laughs> you're doing a Nuzlocke and you can't revive Pokemon. Alright, we're going to save it up right here. And in the next episode, we will start immediately with an encounter. Um, depending on what it is. I mean, there are potential options for me to upgrade my team. A different ground type. That's not also steel type would be kind of nice just for the sake of uh, the fighting weakness and just the bulk because Doug Trio is very frail. Also, if I got a better fighting type or grass type that didn't have normal typing as a secondary typing so that I'd lose a fighting weakness between Stuffle or Deerling, that's an option. Um, but yeah, I will keep in mind what I should do for a new encounter. I'll leave a nickname or two. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.